안녕하세요 친구들 한 주간도 평안히 잘 지냈나요? 오늘 또 하나님 앞에 예배드리기 위해 모니터 앞에 모인 우리 친구들 주님의 이름으로 사랑하고 환영합니다 자 오늘 또 선생님이랑 같이 기도하고 우리 함께 찬양하면서 하나님께서 기뻐 받으시는 예배 이 시간 드렸으면 좋겠습니다 자 다같이 두손 모으고 눈 감고 기도하시겠습니다 사랑의 하나님 감사드립니다 오늘 또 거룩한 주의를 허락하시고 하나님 앞에 예배드리는 이 자리 기억하며 나오게 하시니 감사드립니다 이 세상을 사랑하사 하나님의 아들을 보내주시고 우리에게 믿음 소망 사랑을 알게 하신 하나님 감사드립니다 이 시간 우리 친구들 하나님께 예배드림으로 그 믿음이 더욱더 굳세어지고 하나님께 소망을 품고 세상을 향해 사랑을 베푸는 우리 친구들 될수 있도록 축복하여 주시옵소서 오늘 예배 첫 시간부터 마치는 시간까지 우리와 함께 하실 줄 믿고 감사드리며 예수님의 이름으로 기도드렸습니다 아멘 
세상 
Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to see you today. Let's put our hands together and ask God to teach us. Dear Father God, we are so thankful that you keep reminding us with your word that your love is deep and wide. Your love always finds us and wakes our hearts to life. Father, please help us understand your word, not just with our heads, but with our hearts, and help us to put our faith into action. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay, let's go over the big picture question and answer. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent His Son Jesus into the world to rescue sinners. The gospel is the news that God's grace saves all the people in the world through faith in Jesus Christ. It is good news because forgiveness of our sins and eternal relationship with God is promised and secured through His Son Jesus. The gospel of Jesus is given to every single person in this world. Today's Bible story is called Barnabas in Antioch. It comes from the New Testament book of Acts. We will read Acts 11, 22, and 23 together. News about them reached the church in Jerusalem, and they sent out Barnabas to travel as far as Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged all of them to remain true to the Lord with devoted hearts. Here is the story point for today. Barnabas went to Antioch to encourage believers. Last week, we learned that God showed Peter that the salvation of Jesus is not only for the Jews, but also for the Gentiles, non-Jews as well. Peter took the good news to the household of Cornelius, and God gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to those Gentiles when they believed in Jesus as their Savior and Lord. The Jewish believers in Jerusalem had a hard time accepting the fact that non-Jews could be saved and become believers in Jesus. However, after Peter explained what had happened, they praised God because they saw what God was doing among Gentiles and they knew that they should not hinder the work of God. At first, the Jewish believers who went to many places in the Roman Empire shared the good news only with the Jews. But some believers from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch of Syria, they began telling the Gentiles the good news of Jesus. God was with them and a large number of the Gentiles put their faith in Jesus. The Jewish believers at the church in Jerusalem heard about the Gentile believers. This time, they were ready to accept them as brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus and wanted to find out more about what God was doing in their lives. So they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and full of faith. When Barnabas arrived, he saw God's blessings in the lives of both the Jewish and non-Jewish believers in the church at Antioch. He was excited and filled with joy and encouraged them all to stay close to Jesus and follow Jesus with all their hearts. Even more people heard about the gospel and became followers of Jesus. The church in Antioch continued to grow and grow. Barnabas needed a help, so he went to Tarsus to look for Apostle Paul and brought him to Antioch. Barnabas and Paul stayed with the church in Antioch for a whole year. They worked together and taught many people there. Antioch was the place where Jewish believers and non-Jewish believers for the first time joined together in worshiping God and in fellowship with each other. And followers of Jesus were first called Christians in Antioch. God used Barnabas to bring many Gentiles to faith in Jesus and encouraged them to stay faithful to Jesus. The name Barnabas even means son of encouragement. Encouragement can be actions or words that help someone to have a hope 
courage or confidence. God knows that facing Jesus does not grow strong in isolation. We all need encouragement from other Christians. We help each other to follow Jesus. Worshiping and having friendship with other Christians helps us to grow stronger and closer to Jesus. And God wants us to celebrate together when others come to believe in Jesus. Christ Connection says, even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. God calls us to celebrate when others believe and help them know and love Jesus more. Okay, let's read the memory verse together. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice and let them say among the nations the lord reigns first chronicles 16 31. the good news continued to spread from jews in jerusalem to non-jews in antioch and beyond all kinds of people around the world have heard the good news about jesus the good news of jesus is good news for everyone just like our memory verse says people from all nations will praise god the lord reigns Okay, let's take this time to bring our offering and give it to God. Your parents may drop off your offering at church or you can give it online. Okay, let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for gifting us with your son Jesus Christ. And thank you for sending us fellow Christians like Barnabas to maintain our faith in you. Father, we depend on you for all our needs. Please be with all of us as we have a great need to get through the final stages of the pandemic and encourage us to have hope in you no matter what happens. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's end our service with reciting the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a great week and I will see you next time.